So I've torn out this duct out of my wall here, and the reason that I did that is because it's leaking air into the wall cavity. When this was put together by the HVAC installers, they didn't air seal it. And I can tell they didn't air seal it because there's no tape here, and there's no mask. There's nothing actually keeping the air besides the sheet metal from going anywhere it wants to. So as air comes down through this, it gets directed, and it actually is supposed to come out of here and go into the room. But because it's leaking here, it, um, you can see I stick my finger in here. Because of that, the air can go wherever it wants to. And I know for a fact that we lose a lot of energy from this. So I'm going to fix this. It's going to take cost about a dollar or two. It's going to take about 10 minutes. Then I'll wait till the mastic dries and reinstall it. And I'll be assured that I have an airtight duct. So that when the heat that comes from my furnace or my air conditioner will automatically make it into my home instead of actually disappearing behind the walls and going wherever it wants to. So this is a really simple, easy way to save some money on your energy bills. And I'm going to take you through the process step by step. The only thing you really need, I'm going to use a little brush. This is a little chip brush I bought for 50 cents. I'm going to use some what's called mastic. And you can buy it in a, um, a bucket like this for about $10, $11 at the Home Depot or Lowe's. Or you can buy what's called air duct sealant, which is basically mastic in a tube. And you can buy this for five or six dollars from the Home Depot. And uh, I'm going to reinforce it with a little bit of fiberglass tape. That way I know it won't break or the seal will never ever come undone. When you do this, it's going to be permanently sealed for the life of your home. So don't be afraid of metal ducts. They're really light. They're really easy to work with. Uh, a couple screws, that's all that's holding this thing together. One here, one here, and two in the back and uh, a couple of nails were holding it to the wall and that was really about it. So really don't be afraid of your ducks. You can take them apart and put them back together really easily and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So follow along. I just connected this whole duct so I'm gonna take this whole thing apart but if yours are above your head, already connected, you don't have to take them apart. And try not to throw the pieces all over the ground. <laughs> but uh, anyway, these are oval ducts. You might have round ducts or even square ducts. But uh, you know, now I'm cleaning it off really good because, you know, the mastic sticks better to obviously clean metal than dirty metal. So when you, uh, this is what the mastic looks like. It's basically a gray paint-like sticky substance that has fibers in it. And when it cures, it creates a really nice tight bond. Now I'm putting it on both sides because I have this duct dis disconnected. But if yours are above your head or still connected to your furnace, you don't have to do that. Just paint it all around the outside of it. So put it back together and I'm securing it with some sheet metal screws and then I'll wrap it together with some tape. This is just fiberglass tape, same stuff you use for drywall. And, uh, and all you got to do now is just smear some more mastic all the way around, both sides, all the way around as best you can. While you're at it, you might as well smear it all over everything. So if you see a gap or crack, you, might, you don't want the air leaking out, smear it all over everything. And you're done. It's that easy. So save yourself some money this winter. Seal up your ducks. If you're sick and tired of spending too much money on your energy bills, stop by my website at howtohomeinsulation.com. You'll find the videos and information you need to start saving money on your energy bills right now. My name's Corey Binford. Thanks for watching.